Steamy Valley was a quiet place, one of those places where it always seemed that time had passed them by. Things were relaxed, and the farmers by and large kept the valley fed without outside food. Set out in the woods was a diner from the 1950s which helped entertain the people, especially the teenage girls from the county home. The school helped rescue abandoned or abused girls. In the business district, the buildings did not reach for the sky, but stood as reminders of a different era. Volunteers helped maintain a public park, where a cool waterfall and small creek made their way through. It was especially frequented by the young girls of the valley. A small town sheriff watched over the town, but usually had little to do. Sometimes things were so quiet he resorted to helping little old ladies across the street. Such was the case on a warm summer day when most of the men and their families were away attending different sports stadiums. Most of what remained were young women and a few deputies. All that was about to change however with the descent of a flying saucer. We were three women living together. Daddy died and mother worked to keep us fed. She was a mother and a friend to us. None of us ever thought about little green men, let alone plants on legs. Then they came, plants with legs and they were very hungry, draining humans of their blood.
Girls be good while I am away at work. I am facing a long day today and with no school I don't want you getting in trouble. run, get away from here. Go. Well what do we have here? Are you on the way to a costume party? I asked you a question. What are you doing here freak? Halt. Stop or I will shoot. You are under arrest.
What are you? What do you want? Get away! Sheriff, we found two scared teenage girls. They say their mother got attacked by a plant creature. Have you been drinking? Come on. No, I have not. And I checked for their mother. She did not show up for her job with the county. Okay, have Susie check them out. If their mother does not show, we will take them to the county home. We have a couple of cots they can sleep on. Okay girls tell me what happened. Where is your mother? They got her. I think she is dead. Please believe us. We saw the spaceship. They got our mother. Who got her? Who got your mother? Aliens. Plants with legs. We are not changing our story. We will let you stay the night. If she is not back in the morning then we will take you to the county home. <laughs> what do we have to do to convince them? Face it, we are kids and they are adults. They want to hear what they want to hear. We need to think what we will do without mom. I don't want to think about it. Maybe Aunt Cindy. <coughs> Hi, I am the new waitress. I was sent by the temp agency. Just in time. We have the Sunday morning crowd coming in. Who are they? How many? We get people from the church and the girls from the county home. What is the county home? It is like a school for mainly teenage girls who have been abandoned or neglected and such. 
Now be careful when you come in. There is a bum in the woods. He is not known to be dangerous but be careful. I will watch out for him. Look here come some girls now.
Hello girls I am a student teacher. Welcome to our school. I have talked to the policewoman here and hopefully they will find your mother. We are working hard to find your mother. I appreciate this school's taking you in. Uniforms are required here. You are already wearing yours. How many girls are here right now? About 20 girls are currently in residence. There will be more when school starts. If you will excuse me I need to return to the station. Of course. Thank you for bringing these girls here. We will take care of them. Well girls feel free to look around and get to know the other girls. I have some paperwork to do. Excuse me. I did not want those two girls to know but one of our own is missing. Her name is Sandra Bain. How long has she been missing? Since yesterday. She is a regular at the diner, and did not show up there and is missing from here. Okay well I will go looking around the diner area. Your girls are going to talk and the others will find out before long. Yes I know I am only delaying things. Well thanks again. Who are you? What do you want? Hi I am Ginny. I heard that there are some people missing. You are a reporter, aren't you? Yes I am. I was hoping you can tell me about the missing girl, Sandra Bain. Sandra is missing? I did not even know. I don't know who you are but I want you out of here. I am a reporter and I have freedom of the press. I will have you locked up for trespassing if you don't leave. What are you? What are you doing? Stay out of my way, human. You are no match for me. I am not going anywhere till I get some answers. I have heard that there have been deaths. I am going to have to call the police. Human your police can do nothing. Now leave while I will still let you. Fortunately for you I am not hungry right now.
Well, what brings an arboreal here? Oh, great of a Nugent plant. We have dealt with your kind before. Nice to meet you too. Don't worry, I am only here for a snack or two. No one is stealing your territory. Do you want one? Eat it a little please. I am not hungry. Thanks, I believe I will. Just a piece of advice. These humans are vicious and treacherous. They are also primitive and can do little to us. Don't underestimate them. They are highly intelligent and war is a way of life with them.
Hey Sprout, you are doing good. Now don't talk with your mouth full. Are you off shift now? Yes. I am headed home. Watch out when you go. There is supposed to be some bad stuff going on. You know I have not seen that bum who was in the woods. I used to feed him some leftovers. Maybe the cops ran him in. I have to go.
I need help can you call the police? Oh sorry can you help? Yes I will come take a look. Here it is. She looks like she was drained of blood. Her body is still warm. Don't disturb anything. Sheriff, the coroner wants to talk to you about the murder of the waitress. Send him in. I need to speak with him as well. Sheriff as was thought the body was drained of blood. I know that look. There is something else. Yes there is. There was some kind of residue on the body of a type I have not seen before. I have a trainee looking at it. She thinks it may be plant residue. It is green so it probably is. Okay keep me informed. Can you send my secretary back in here please? Can I help you Sheriff? The coroner sent me in. I would like you to contact every deputy we have and our part-time reserves as well. Tell them to meet me at the station. Strange as it may sound, we may have killer plants running around. Everyone in full gear. We have a fight on our hands. The women's core too. I need every officer in the field. If you see a strange creature, shoot to kill. That's all. Thank you for watching our news. In County News The County Home, two new girls have been taken in as their mother has disappeared. The girls claimed that she was eaten by plant people. Our roving reporter Ginny has been on this story and got this information from them. The police have been tight-lipped about this. Ginny has been trying to get more information but so far, Just one moment. Here comes Ginny now. Ginny take a seat and tell us what you know. Hello everyone I was out in the woods and found a body. She had all the blood drained from her body. The police have been uncooperative. Something is going on. Thank you for the report Ginny. She is going to go look around town and see what she can find.
It is the same thing as before. She was repeatedly struck and drained of blood. Heather can you find out who her nearest relatives are for me? I did. She has no near living relatives. Her name is Ginny and she worked as a reporter at the station. Alright I am headed over to the sheriff's office to make out a report. I wonder what he is doing about all this. Heather run. I will try to head the creature off. Run.
We had been taken by surprise, and both the communications and roads were cut off. Our area was on its own. The sheriff filled every uniform that he could, knowing that it might well be a losing battle. Regular deputies and volunteers from the local college got together to form a battle force. It would be a day of carnage no one would forget. I need help. The plants are everywhere. They are coming. Come here and tell me about it. The roads are shut down and there are no phones, the plants are coming. Lock the door. Just relax. Nothing can hurt you here. Come to think of it Ginny is overdue. She has not called. I will go out into town and see if I can find her.
so it is just the two of us. I may have to shut down. I heard there is something happening in town. I am going to be going soon anyway. I heard about the terrible thing that happened to your waitress. Yes I am still in shock. I think I hear something. Excuse me. Hello? Are you out there? Oh no. Don't hurt me.
The others are overdue. Maybe I should go looking for them. No please don't leave me. Lock the door. They are coming. This must be a mistake. Plants do not walk. 
They are coming I tell you. Lock the door. Ah! <sighs> 
The deputies fought bravely, but they were outmatched by the superior strength of the enemy. They drew a line, hoping to protect the county home for girls. Then we got the message on the radio. The attack was all over the world, not just local, with armies of former adversaries fighting bravely side by side. That did not help us however, as fierce battles raged all over. People were told to stay in their homes, but it did little good. The plants were intelligent, forcing locked doors open to get at the mostly young population of the county.
Not all residents had gotten the word however, and many fell to the plant onslaught.
Girls I have something to say. Jean come down here and sit down. Girls we must stay inside. We have enough food to last for days. The plants are coming. We have all heard about them. Oh no, I hear something. Girls come look. It is sick. One of the plant monsters. It is helpless. Be careful. Look here.
Bugs are all over it and its leaves are sticky. That is really strange. I am going to take a sample of the bugs over to the high school. Maybe they can tell us what they are. It is dangerous out there. Don't go. I will be in a car. I will be safe. Oh no. The car is wrecked. Stay away. Help. We can take bikes. We will outrun them. I loved that teacher.
young woman what do you have there? I was hoping that you could tell us. Those are called aphids. They are also called plant lice. They are a pest. Where did you get them? They killed one of the invading plants. I don't believe that story about the plants. There are some students here, all girls who are working on extra credit. Now I need to go. Is there any way to get word to the outside? The professor has a transmitter but he has not used it for years. Try to get word to the military that the answer is bugs. Aphids he called them. And that sprout is how we came to Steamy Valley. Were they able to contact the military? Yes they did but the monsters never had a chance. The bugs were bad for a while but we have insect repellent. Why did we conquer them? Didn't they have the right to their own planet? They are monsters. We are superior. We domesticated them. Now eat your supper. I am going to eat later because I am not really hungry. I am so proud of you. Now don't talk with your mouth full. That's my sprout. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 